Hello friends, today let's solve shortest path in a grid with obstacles elimination. Given a m times n grid, where each cell is either 0, empty or 1 obstacle, in one step you can move up, down, left or right, from and to an empty cell. Return the minimum number of steps to work from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. Given that you can eliminate at most k obstacles, if it is not possible to find uh, such work, return negative 1. So let's see this example. We need uh, to go from the left, uh, upper left cell to the right bottom cell. And this is one possible way because we can eliminate uh, at most one obstacle. There is only one obstacle here. So we return 6. Well, let's think about this problem. Actually, it may re uh, remind you of the breakfast search. The difference between this problem with a normal BFS problem is that we can eliminate some obstacles. Uh, and one thing in breadth first search is that we usually need a visited array to mark whether we have visited uh, this cell before. How about this? in this problem? Do we need a visited array? Uh, the answer is no. Mm, because the reason we use a visited array in a BFS problem is that uh, if we can visit uh, like this cell, we can visit uh, by go from here, go right, go down. This is just uh, two steps. And we can also reach it by go from here and uh, go down, go down, go right, and go up. So this is four steps. And we know that uh, the two steps is less than the four steps. So if we can reach it uh, as soon as uh, sooner is better. So we do not need to beat it uh, again. But in this problem, as we can eliminate some obstacles, if we mark it as weighted, we may lose the right parts to the end. Let's see this uh, in this example, we can only eliminate at most one obstacle. Actually, this is the only valid way. Because out of this uh, uh, destination cell, they all obstacles so we can only eliminate one uh, this one so that means in the road we cannot uh, eliminate any obstacle this is the only valid path but if we mark this uh, this cell as vt we will never find this uh, path why because when we meet this cell we can eliminate Right, because we can eliminate one obstacle, and then we go right, then we go down. So we visited uh, this cell by only three steps. So, uh, but actually the result we go down, go down, go right, go right, go up. So this is five steps. So we will uh, like miss this part. But uh, in case we get a tiny limit exceeded uh, error how do we know whether we can go for uh, go from this part other than just uh, ignore it because if we do not mark it we may enter some loop because like uh, we go from here we go down then we can also go up right because this is one step we can go from here to this place, but we can also go from this place to the source. So actually we need uh, to count the obstacles in this path. We will count how many obstacles we meet in this path. Like uh, if we go this path, we know we already meet one obstacle. But uh, if we go this path, we know we meet zero obstacle. So this may be a candidate uh, result. So we update uh, the obstacles, the minimum obstacle we meet uh, go from 0, 0 to 1, 2 is uh, 0.
right? Because we can reach here by eliminate uh, zero obstacle. So this is the whole idea. We need uh, an array. Uh, we will call it a C. This is the 2D array. That means the total obstacles we go from the source to uh, the place. And actually, this is the minimum obstacles. And as this is BFS, so once we reach the end, we just uh, return the steps. Because every step is one. Actually, this is unweighted and uh, undirected uh, search in the graph. So once we reach the end, uh, we just uh, return the answer. So OK, now let's write the code. We first get the n and uh, m and n grid zero dot length. So we need a c, uh, but yeah, we need a c. That means that the minimum obstacle we can meet, uh, we meet uh, go from source to here. So this is the n, n. and uh, we need to initialize this uh, array. So for int i from zero i less than n i plus plus. So arrays fail, uh, fail, i and uh, as we need to get the mi as minimum uh, as possible. So we initialize it uh, to max value, but uh, the c zero zero should be zero, right? This is zero obstacle, and we need to do a BFS search, a BFS. So we need a Q into this. And uh, at first, uh, we need uh, of uh, the 0, 0. And uh, 0 means the the number of the obstacles we meet so far. And uh, while this queue is not empty, we need to uh, get the size of this queue because all the cells in the current level has the same steps size. You know, for int i equal to zero, i less than size i plus plus. We also need a steps. Steps. The first is zero. Okay. And uh, outside this for loop, we need to let the steps increment by one. And we also need the directions. Four directions. Private static direction directions there one and uh, zero negative one and uh, one zero and uh, negative one zero okay uh, then we pull from the cube we name it a curve so Q pull and we get a row is curve zero and the uh, column is curve one. And once the row equal to n minus n minus one, and uh, the column equal to n minus one, we just uh, return the steps. Uh, otherwise, we check the four direction. We get r equal to row plus d zero, and c equal to column plus d1. This index should be valid, so when the r greater or equal than 0, and the r less than n, and the c greater or equal than 0, and the c uh, less than n. So if the the obstacles, um, okay, int o, oh, that means obstacles equal to curve 2 plus the grid rc because if it uh, is a uh, obstacle obstur which the uh, increment by one if it's uh, empty we just uh, plus zero so we add it uh, once this o is greater or equal than the c the obstacles we see here we have we uh, there is no need uh, to add the current uh, cell into the queue or oh, the Obstacle is greater than the limit, which is a K. We just uh, continue. Otherwise, we update the C, which is O. And uh, we offer that into the Q, which is RC. And uh, O is the obstacles. 
So outside the graphic search, we cannot find in the valid parts. So we return negative one. Uh, okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.